Attention, the following video is meant to be funny. Please do not get butthurt. What is up guys, Slickby here, and today I have a how-to video. There's not going to be any gameplay because, um, well let me explain this first. So, what I'm going to teach you how to do is how to win War Thunder. Um, this is something that many people don't understand, you know. They don't think you can win War Thunder, but believe me, you can win War Thunder. Um, you may not get an achievement, and it may not be similar to what you think is winning in the past, you know, like you know, final cutscene type shit, but you can win War Thunder, hands down. Um, now, I personally don't win War Thunder. I prefer to fly the Horton 229 and die every single game I'm in. That's that's just me. That's that's what I like to do. Um, here, let's put this in so you can look at it. Uh, this is how I play War Thunder. I, I'm a loser at War Thunder. This is what I fly, die every time. That that's That's my experience with War Thunder as of late, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to teach you how to win, go over some basics, I'm not going to show you any gameplay, I just want you guys to just test it out, and if you're already doing it, high five, you're a winner. Um, so the first thing is, buy premium, buy shit the hundred premium, buy all the premium you possibly can, uh, probably like a year and a half worth, a thousand years, three hundred and thousand days, buy all the premium. Second thing is, don't fly Germany unless you're flying the G2 Trop, don't fly it, anything else, anything in here, uh, maybe the F4, nothing else though, don't fly any of it. Fuck it. It's all dead. Maybe the D13. D13 and G2. That's it. Don't fly anything else. Um, Russia? If you want to win in Russia, well, we're not talking about tanks. Tanks are not winning. Fuck them. Um, the only thing you want to play is anything over a 23mm and then play it in an arcade. So, you know, like the AK-9T, the AK-9K. Arcade. That's it. That's how you play Russia. Um, and possibly the MiG-15 in realistic if you're feeling edgy. You know, you want to kind of kill, but not really. Um, Japan, don't fly them. Fuck them. And Britain, anything that has starts with an S, just fly it. Anything that starts with an S. Uh, so Spitfire, yeah, fly it. That's it. Um, uh, and the Bowfighter right here. This, that's all you have to fly. And the Hurricanes, they're pretty good. Just fly, fly. You know, Britain. You can fly Britain. I don't really care. Um, but this is where the real winning comes into place. I'm just gonna give you a lineup of, for example. If you really want to win War Thunder, you have to play Arcade America. So what you do is you get this Bearcat 1B, or you can play Realistic, I guess. You can take this Bearcat 1B, and you just find a place for it. All right, yeah, we'll put it right here. It's over my Sifar. I don't even care. You put it right there. This. This is part of the winning process. Um, if you want to win a bit less, but you're still winning, take this Bearcat 1 and put that in that slot. Uh, P51, fuck that. We'll take a BTD. <laughs> That's winning. And we'll we'll just put it let's put it in this spot. So BTD that's winning. Um, XP50 winning. Let's see where, where do we put it? Let's put that let's put that right here. I'm just showing you an example of how to win like a a proper lineup. And we're gonna take the premium spit. I'm gonna spend all my money here, but I don't care. We'll put it right here. So this is this is a winning lineup for arcade or any of these planes, just take them in RB. You win. That's how you win War Thunder. If you really want to know, um, it's a little. It's a well-known secret. No, it's not a well-known secret. It's a little-known secret. But a lot of people do it, not intentionally. They don't understand that they're winning. They just, that's what they grind up to. But this this is how you win. This is how you win worth This, right here. This. And uh, not so much anymore, but this is also how you win. This thing. Hold on. View. Test flight. Customization. This thing. This is how you win, too. So, um, this. It, it, it shouldn't even be called, it shouldn't be called War Thunder. It should be called win if you play America. That's honestly, that's what it's called. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Now you American pilots know that. Um, just to point out how you lose in War Thunder real quick. Uh, anything, see this line right here? Yeah, anything past that aside from this, you're losing. Um, anything above this line except for this, you're losing. So, that's, that's how, and, and this. Uh, yeah, they're all pretty shiza, you know what I'm saying, except for this, it's pretty good, and these, these are pretty good, everything else is pretty, you know, shit, Spitfires, like I said, Russia, anything with a huge cannon, KV-2, take the KV-2, fly the KV-2 around, let's look at that, uh, customization, you can put some wings on it, and fly it around, this is basically like, I don't know, it's awesome, you try to fly this, if you can, modify it, fly it, um, but if you can't, Next best thing, Yak 90, take it. 
I'm gonna look at it. Take it. This. This is how you also win War Thunder. Um. So yeah. There. There's a common misconception that this game is Russian bias. That's not true. It's allied bias. And on that note, I'll see you all in the next one.